no mos transistor switches we can treat mos transistor as a simple on off switch with the source s and gate g control the state of the switch and the drain d so we know that um, mos is a four terminal device one is gate one is source one is drain and one is bulk okay so whereas you can see that uh, source and gate control the state of the switch and drain so these are the four terminals three terminals one represent high so when you are applying a one at the gate terminal that is means that you are applying a high voltage so high voltage is vdd that may be 5 volt 3.3 volt 1.8 volt 1.2 volt means what sort of voltage uh, you are uh, using for your circuit so day by day we are reducing the voltage we are working with less voltage so it depends what type of vdd you are using zero represent low voltage ground or vss so usually in digital circuit if you are saying ground so it is zero volt so so when uh, mm, you can see here when you are applying active uh, uh, logic zero here so it is acting as a off means there is no connection in between the switch so when you are applying one so during that time your switch is closed and uh, this will conduct okay similarly for pmos transistor pmos transistor when you are applying zero so your switch is uh, uh, closed and it will uh, it is conducting when your uh, uh, switch is when you are applying uh, one during that time your switch is off and uh, it is not conducting okay so this is the simple mos transistor switches now you can see a nand gate uh, so how to implement a nand gate in uh, 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 at transistor level using cmos technology you can so for that you have to use uh, two NMOS transistor in series and uh, exact replica and inverse. So if you are using two NMOS transistor in series, you have to use two PMOS transistor in parallel in order to implement the NAND gate functionality. Now we know that this is the truth table of NAND gate. When you are applying zero zero, you should get one. So when you are applying zero, so this is on. When you are applying zero, this is also on. So you will get. So uh, this VDD is connected to the out. So during that time, you will get one. Right. Now when you are applying 0, 1, so suppose A is 0, so during that time this is on and this is off, so during that time your ca this capacitor output load uh, load capacitance will charge through this point. When your input is A is 1 and B is 0, so during that time your this transistor is on, so your uh, output load is getting uh, charged through this, uh, this path. Now when both are 1, so both are 1 means these two are, uh, this, this block is not conducting whereas both has on so your capacitor is discharged through this path because both these transistors are on and uh, your capacitor will discharge through this path so during that time you will get output as zero so that is the functionality of the NAND gate so you so this is the diagram that will show how to implement the logic level NAND gate into transistor level to input NAND gate 